and welcome back. We're joined now by Rhonda Greer Robinson, the president of Rockford's NAACP chapter. This weekend, they are holding their annual banquet. But first, this interview is going to be in honor of one of the Rockford's NAACP's chair, who we just learned passed away this morning, Mr. Robert Posley. Yes, condolence to the family. Robert was one of our teams who really worked hard, and we're going to truly miss him. Yeah, and he was the religious chair. He was right? the religious chair. Yeah, so um, we're praying for his family during this time, and we just found out the news right before you came here. Yes, condolence. Okay. So getting into the banquet going on this weekend, can you first tell us the importance of the NAACP still in 2019? Yes, the NAACP, we are working very hard in really making sure that we connect with the community. And a part of that is our annual NAACP Freedom Fund Banquet, and that is this Sunday at 5 o'clock at the Radisson. Please come out and join us. Yeah, and then also you have a special MC that's going to be yes! there as well. <laughs> it is Brooke. She is going to be our MC. We're so excited. Um, I have to say this. My students are absolutely in love with you. Uh -huh. Thank you for visiting our school. Um, the kids at Ellis have talked about you all day long on that next day and it <laughs> continues. Well, I'm glad that fifth graders are watching the news. So thank you guys for Ellis Art Academy for having me, for having me in the first place. Yes. So we appreciate it. Um, going to the banquet, it is at five. I am emceeing and we have a special speaker that's also coming by. Yes, we have our state president, Teresa Haley. Um, she's actually the Springfield president and the state president. So she's going to be our phenomenal speaker, and everyone's excited about it. We had a president's call on yesterday, yesterday evening, and we were discussing it, and I mentioned your name, and she was like, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm excited to see her again, too. Yes. I haven't seen um, Miss Haley in a while. And then we also have some awards that are going to be given out at the Freedom Fund Banquet, and that's kind of the most important part of the entire evening. It is. It is. We've had some people in our community who have been working really hard into making a difference. We have the James Adams Freedom Award. We have the Outstanding Business Award, Community Service Award, the Jewel Powell Unsung Award, and we have the Next Generation. But unfortunately, in that category, no one nominated anyone, and I was really disappointed. Really? Yeah. It could have been you. I mean, I want to nominate it myself, though. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and the information was sent out to many different organizations, and they had the opportunity to nominate someone. I'm so. sure there's a lot of young people here that are doing a lot in Rockford. Yeah, but we need to highlight them. And I'm just talking to the community, and I know that you know that we have plenty of young people out here in our community that could have been highlighted. Next year, we're looking for more support. Okay. I actually know a few people who probably will be good for that award. Yes. So can you explain the importance of making sure that we hi highlight and recognize people in the community that are doing good? Because a lot of times they do good, but they don't get that recognition. So why is it important for the NAACP to, hi to highlight them? Good question. It's very important because sometimes, you know, we get so busy in our world and that we see the people out here doing this phenomenal service, but we just say, good job. Well, the NAACP actually gets this opportunity to say, hey, we see you and we honor you. First of all, one of the awards, the um, Jane Adams Award, that one is for, it's actually the top award, and it's for someone who really focuses on unity and equality and has shown that within our community. Well, thank you so much for joining us. And you know, the banquet is this Sunday at Bell School Road at the Radisson Hotel. Join us and you'll see me there. So thanks so much for joining us. Oh, thank you. We'll be back.